For this tutorial, I am going to show you how to attach a yoke to a shirt. For a yoke, you're going to need two pieces. You're going to need the yoke itself, which will be on the right side of the fabric, and the other piece will be the yoke facing, which will be on the inside. And first you start off with pinning both pieces. You're going to pin the first piece, the yoke, to right sides together, and you're going to pin the facing right side to wrong side. And you're just going to just match it up. Now that we have this pinned on both sides, we're going to take this to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. Now that we've gotten that sewn, I'm going to go ahead and trim down the seam allowance to about 3 8 of an inch. I'm going to go ahead and pin the shirt fronts at the shoulders. right sides together. And once we get this pinned together, matching the notches and the markings, we're gonna go ahead and take this to the sewing machine. Now here is where my way of attaching the facing to the shoulder seams differs from a lot of others who create tutorials. Instead of doing the burrito method, this is how I do mine. You're going to open the shirt up. Bring up the facing. Take the facing and fold it under like where the seam allowance would be and lay it on top of the stitch line. Then you're going to just grab a hold of the edges on the inside, hold on to it, and turn it out like that. Match up your notches. and go ahead and pin that. And then we're going to take it to the sewing machine and go ahead and sew that and repeat it on the same side. Now, if I went too fast, I'm gonna take the pins out and I'm gonna show you again how I did that. Because it's so simple, it's ridiculous. All right, let's start again. Bring the facing up like that. And you're going to take the edge, the shoulder edge of the facing, and you're just going to fold that under right on the seam allowance. Then you're going to lay it over the top of the other shoulder seam. Now, if it would make it a little easier, you can, at this point, you can just kind of stick a pin in there so it stays in place, pin all the way through, and reach inside the neck and grab the seam allowances and just pull it out. and matching the notches first. You can take that pin out from the inside.
go ahead and pin your shoulder seam. Get it nice and matched up and secure. Okay, that's that shoulder. And now we're gonna do the other side. Fold it down on the seam allowance. Lay it on top of the other shoulder. Right on the stitch line. Add a pin right at the bottom to secure it. Reach in through the neck. Pull it through. Matching your notches. Go ahead and pin that. Take our pan out from the other side. And let's go stitch that up. So there you have it. It's attached on both sides now. This is the right side. And this is the inside. I hope you learned something new and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.